showing you something called EFT, also known as emotional freedom technique, is tap or tapping. And this is a way to help you relax around any problem you might have so that even though you still know what happened, it doesn't bother you anymore. And today I'm going to demonstrate it with you around the tension in your chest that restricts your breathing. And for most people, they'll find if they have some emotional tension going on in their life, that will show up in their breathing. And so as we reduce the tension in your chest, you're going to find that the emotions that go with it are going to settle down as well. So what I'm going to have you do now is with me, I'm going to get you to take a big breath in and let it go. Good. So while we did that, did you notice some tightness in your chest anywhere? Sometimes you'll find that maybe your breath doesn't fill up completely all the way through your chest. So we're going to do that breath again. And this time I'd like you to measure how full your breath is on a scale of 0 to 10. The 0 is I can't breathe at all. And 10 is I can have a very full, relaxed, comfortable breath. Let's do that together now. And let it go. Excellent. So just check in now. What was your number? Great. So now we're going to tap on the side of our hand here. And we're just going to use all the fingers in our other hand to tap like this. And now I'm going to say some words and I'd like you to say them along with me if you can. Even though I have this restriction in my breathing and maybe there's some emotion involved in that, I just don't know. I'm willing to love and accept myself anyway. Great. So now we're going to tap on some comfort points on the rest of our body. Just tap along with me and repeat the words after me. This restriction in my breathing. 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 And maybe there's some emotion involved. Maybe not. I don't know why it's the way it is, but I'm just noticing it. And maybe there's some emotion there, and maybe not. Maybe there's something going on I'm not even aware of. But there's this restriction in my breathing. Maybe there's some emotion there, and maybe not. But it's just hard for me to take a full breath. Well done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to compare, and we're going to take another full breath. And then we're going to compare how full that breath is compared to the one before. So let's do that now. Big breath in. And out. Good job. So now just compare and see what your number is now compared to before. Most people find that their number changes by at least a couple of points just by doing that simple exercise. And usually the emotion they may be feeling alongside that will also drop down, whether that's anger or sadness or fatigue, whatever it might be. In the same way, we can use EFT directly on those particular feelings or experiences. So we can tap on, even though I have this tiredness in my eyes, or even though I'm angry, Bob kicked the cat, or even though I've got the sharp pain in my left knee. We can just change those words to suit exactly what our experience is and we'll find that when we tap around the points in just the same way, telling the truth about our experience, we begin to feel more and more relief. EFT is a very simple technique that anyone can learn to use the basics of for themselves, but there are other things that we can do with it. We can work with bigger issues like major trauma, um, post-traumatic stress disorder, we can work with fears and phobias, with anxiety and depression and it's also very useful for people who have some physical health challenges to help them manage their pain and discomfort. Thanks for watching today, I hope you found it useful and I look forward to catching up with you. Bye for now.